I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update on this Friday, October 6th. As of the 10 a.m. advisory, Philippe is now post-tropical and we're tracking a tropical wave moving off the west coast of Africa. So I'll tell you where they're going. First, we'll talk about Philippe. 50 mile per hour winds, so still tropical storm force winds, but it is now post tropical moving to the north northeast at 16 miles per hour as the 10 a.m. advisory and tropical impacts could still be felt over portions of Maine and the Canadian Maritimes as this continues to move off to the first north northeast, then north northwest impacting portions of northeastern Maine and the Canadian Maritimes, bringing some heavy rainfall possibility for some flash flooding and of course gusty winds, tropical storm force winds. So although this is post tropical, tropical impacts can still be felt with these systems, just not a threat to the Gulf Coast, but is a threat to the portions of northeastern Maine and the Canadian Maritimes. Also tracking this system with a 50% chance of development over the next seven days, moving off the west coast of Africa. Models have been keeping this far out at sea, not a threat to the U.S. or the Gulf Coast, but just something to watch over the next several days. And of course, you can view the latest track and view the latest developments in the Hurricane Map Room. Go to the Weather tab and click Hurricane Map Room. That'll have the latest tracks, the latest chances for development with new systems, and of course, tropical climatology throughout the hurricane season. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.